Yeah, what? It's, it's, it's Falcon's aerials with like Peach's recovery. With it's with weird. um with with not a fair, right? So his nair becomes his fair her her fair. Yeah. And she just has an amazing nair. Okay. Her nair is amazing. It's just like a good get off me tool. It's and I love her back here. Falcon's bear has been one of my favorite moves since like sixty four man. I just that move is awesome. Yep, you're good. You're good, you're good. So yeah, and, and her up air, oh my god. Oof, it kills regardless on so, but I love like it. like you can run off so and do good. a re like reverse right before you jump and hit her hit him with a like back hit box. And they'll get like sent straight into the right box. Yeah, it's left so box. good. It's awesome. Into so this game we got a fours for an abscess. That's what I'd expect from game one. I mean, yeah, I think this is overall a pretty good matchup for Forsburn. I would say so. Um, uh he can kinda get in. He has yeah. the disjoint so we can space out exactly. Uh, and he did just get like a ton of buffs. For some reason. <laughs> I, I wish I knew why, but <laughs> Hilarious, for dude. some reason. Gotta love that back air, man. That back God, air it's like active that forever. It's so it, good. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh. No, not like not again. You're not allowed to do this again, Brad. You're not allowed to S D twice. But um slightly sad I couldn't make it today, but I would love to see you in back air. Cause it was a pretty small bracket. It was, it was. Um I mean, and I had a bad performance last time, last month at least, so. So you gotta, you gotta bring it up. I wanted to, I really wanted to, but I was just. I think you not can do a lot better with Ori. I think Ori is your character, man. I, I, I also kind of think that, but I also want Rano. Rano <laughs> looks so good! <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the Sheik characters. So. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited for, for Rano. The future of, of Rivals is pretty bright. So I gotta say, that was super smart from SBS. He went oh, into yeah. the cloud. I think that cloud setup. He used that side B there. But Brad somehow just knew which one was which. I mean, the biggest thing is you tend to kind of, if you can read the up B, like the angles and whatnot, you can tend to find a pretty good uh, huh. solution. Uh, also, cool. Clone can't fast fall. Really? Yes, Clone never fast falls. Oh. Uh, clone never wave dashes. Clone never... Rolls. I think it always double jumps in the air. I've yes, and it'll always double jump first. So that means it'll be above it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, it's very, there's a lot of little tells that you can use that not everyone always notices. So. Makes sense. Well, Brad needs a kill here. He's looking for something. Up till forward air, back air, some move. Oh god, there, and there you see that new up smash. It's um, scary, man. It's, it's strong. Oh, that's, this should be it. But to be fair, that move was like not used before at all. Now it seems like you can almost edge guard with up smash, which is crazy. Yeah. It's 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 I uh, uh, I wish he would have gone off a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like he put it a little too close to stage. But I guess he didn't want to risk uh, going off stage with Absa. I mean, when you're at 130 at this True. point, you might as well get the smoke out well there, die for something. it, and say, ah, oh, whatever. I got smoke yeah. in a good spot. Exactly. But he saw some up, so he might be able to get some shenanigans with it, but find nothing crazy. And I mean, right now this is this is looking pretty good for Steven. I'm pretty strong this Oh. That's one of the scariest things about like when throwing out smoke is you, you see him as this helpless person because he's throwing out smoke or, or you feel like you have to be aggressive so he doesn't absorb it but at the same time he's just waiting for you. Yeah. Approach. He doesn't lose anything by... If you're seeing him absorb and need to react to it he's already back in neutral basically yeah. by the time you can get in without punish. You have to predict the smoke in hell and then you can get in exactly. something but that's not really reliable. So generally you have two play styles, right? Either you focus on the smoke, you just don't let Forsburn burn, uh, play that defensive game, or you play the, like the, I don't care if you get smoke, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna keep pressure on you regardless. I mean, in this matchup, I do think it is very important. Also, this is the stage, right? Ethereal Gates? Ethereal Gates, yes. Yes, okay. The stage is wonderful. Especially I for Forsburn. I think Forsburn. Oh, oh, I agree! It's yes! It's so good. It's so good. I think, I think Zetter also gets a lot off mm. of it, though. No, I would agree. Um, uh, I know... For example, like Ash is his favorite stage in the game. Uh, this stage, this stage, this is uh, I really dislike this stage. So it is FD, right? In a game where I don't think FD belongs. I mean, I get I get what you're getting at from there, but I like that it's there, that it exists. Because I don't like to have to speak personally. Yeah. That's, that's my. I mean, stage. look, look, FD's FD's considered such a strong counter pick sometimes in in like games like PM. That people were thinking about even moving that stage to PM for a while. Really? Because yeah. it's just so. I guess it's so uh, extreme. Yeah. Either you're good on it or you're, or you're horrible, terrible. right? And and I think this game has that same that that exact like thing where either you're good on it or you're horrible on it. And I mean, playstyle wise, before anything else, the, every other stage in the game has platforms. You get good at yeah. platform movement, you're just super clean with that. Go to a stage without platforms, you're at a disadvantage if you don't practice. Exactly. It. And and um. it's just the removal of all platforms, nothing. And it's a big, it's a big long stage 
uh, where the blast zones aren't that big, right? Yeah, well, the blast zones are actually pretty close now. Yeah. Uh, I think the bottom one, or no, the top one is still pretty high up. Yes. Aside from that, everything else is pretty close now. So, so welcome to uh, us now having the smallest stage in the game, aka Ori stage. Is that the smallest one? Yeah. It's got I, the I haven't gotten more And the yet. smallest top blast zone, and is 15 more pixels, I think, or 20 more pixels bigger than Rock Wall. Oh, but wow. but it's longer, so okay. it's basically so the, you're like in the blast zone already. So it's basically so like scary. the same thing as Rockwall on the sides, but just a shorter ceiling. Not yeah. So that's a scary stage to take Absa to, is what you're <laughs> Yeah, that <laughs> stage will be amazing for Absa, um, and it's very good for Ori also. Yeah. Um, but in the Ori Ditto, it is scary. I love that stage in the Ori Ditto. It, it is, is actually terrifying. Super fun. Um, you get up aired once, and you get up aired twice, and you're dead. And you're just like, uh, right. where did right. my stock go? I don't know. Ooh, this is a scary spot to be for Bread. He really needs to find a way to land. And this is just why the stage I think is hard for Absa. Yeah. She's so floaty, she can't get down, there's no platforms to aid her. Yeah, so I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't know why you would ever pick this as Absa. It didn't make I any sense. I mean, regard, I mean, he might have just felt like it was a counter pick to the way SPS was playing last game. No. Maybe he felt like he wasn't even plot I mean, involved. I, I so. do think I think do you think Forsburn is one of the characters that like we were talking about is, is horrible without platforms. Mm -hmm. And and I do think Forsburn is one of those characters. But that I think that's way better with platforms. But I, I, I think so is Absa. I agree, and I think Absa might honestly at, at that point so let's just reduce it to neutral then, get rid of our advantage from platforms, and I think SBS just has a stronger neutral. Yeah, and at exactly. that point it's just it's gonna be rough. And you don't have any gimmicks. You have no it's gimmicks true. on that stage. No hitting, no poking through platforms, no uh, getting any kind of drifting aerials and auto canceling. And, and I think it's, although it's bad for fours, I think it's worse for apps. I, I can, know. I can totally respect because that. Because you have no auto cancels after up beat. You have, you have no, like the ability to kill with up air at like an insanely low percent. Oh, that's true, and it has a high ceiling. I didn't even yeah. consider that. That makes it so bad. Whereas fours was like ah, back air, it's fine. Yeah, he <laughs> the will, lasso, it's he cool, will, dude. Like although, although, yes, he's not going to kill you early. Yes, he's not going to get crazy combos. If he gets you off stage, you are never recovering. And that's the one thing he does have on that stage. It's true. There we go. That's what I like to hear. Money match? Money match? Yeah, money match active. Yeah, why not? Yo, let's do it. Twenty dollars. Yo, let's go. <laughs> do it on stream. Me? Twenty dollars. One dollar, a two. SPS? Yeah, go go for the other one. Okay, I'll, I'll put it on SPS. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay, I'll take a dollar for Brad. No. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a grand on Brad. He's a strong game. <laughs> yeah. Steven, you're making a thousand dollars. Throw the game. <laughs> no, no, he's making five hundred. <laughs> you no, buy it. from each. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you have McGregor? <laughs> you know what? Uh, what? What are my odds? Are you giving me odds? Did you see what uh, see what SPS just did there? No, what the heck? SPS just right? sat there ah. under the left platform, the just crouching, just waiting for him to approach. Because he was just he's afraid or, to or he throw out F though. He's afraid to get parried. Like, I think that's a big thing. Alright, we're done. We're done. Red relies on uh, Red relies on you not being able to parry his F tilt to be able to safely keep you away from him. I love rivalry. Get out of here. It's not even Rosalina. It's like Captain Falcon, dude. He's, she's literally Captain Falcon. You hate Captain Falcon? Uh, fine. It's not sign. Is it not? Is it sign? No, it's sign. Okay. I don't know. I, I thought I it was like sign, like, like co-sign. I've never... Thing. I've never... Oh, no cancel. So there's some odd play at the start of this game. I see a stat Ooh, this under is good. the... Uh, this is a good game for, uh, for Brad. Oh, hey, Wait. hey! Oh, Brad dropped it and then picked it up again. That would have been the greatest thing. Again. Getting an up tilt on that top platform at 40 might have been a stock. I agree. It's, it's not. Speaking of may have been a stock, man. Good DI on back air if you were at like the blast zone. But I because you were up there. Exactly. You need to DI more to the left there and just get a slight. That's one of those moments where it's uh. That's where you could say someone had good DI if they really knew the game. Say, okay, I'm gonna die if I do the normal DI here. I like that fast fall there though. Kill the clone. Just don't even deal with that option and make SPS think. And I mean, the goal is you try not to break the hundred. If you can not break a hundred here, you can then you can bring it back. It's bring totally it back. I mean, you like, can bring you it back, bring it back, back over a hundred, yeah. but you want some leeway. You want to be able to make a few mistakes, though, especially against someone like SPS, because oh, the mistake might be really big. <laughs> that's a, that's a 
man, it's good the DI normally, but it's not good if you're at the top of yeah. the offense. I agree. So, that was a really good set, though. Thank you guys for watching. This is Gatekeeper 17. Done yet. Oh, we have the Ori side we event, of course. The, side main, event. the reason you guys came and actually watched this event for the Ori side the event. The reason I am here.